Hey guys, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to perfectly loop an audio track to meet a specific timestamp or uh, you know something in a video. You want an audio track to fit the video perfectly, but you're having to go, you're having to cut, you're having to crossfade, all of that hoopla. I'm gonna show you in today's video how to do that much simpler here within Adobe Audition. So as you can see here, I have a project I'm working on here within Final Cut Pro 10. doesn't matter, you might be working in Premiere Pro, whatever you're working in. The only software that you need to have here is Adobe Audition because it's gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting for for you. So let's dive back into the audition track here. Now, go ahead and open up a multi track file. Go to File, New, Multi Track Session, just like that. Go ahead and name that track and go ahead and click OK. Once you've done that, you're going to see your multi track here. Now, if you need to know how to navigate and work with audition a little better, I have a full tutorial showing you how to do just that. I'll put that link in the description as well. And the next thing you need to do is import your audio. As you can see here, this is the audio track that I'm using. This is one provided by the free YouTube library. One of my favorites. I use that this at the end of almost all of my videos. You can hear it sounds like this. Nice little uh, little ambient uh, sound there, but uh, I love this track. It's called Ticker. Uh, but basically, what you're going to want to do is open up your multi-track session there. Go ahead and drag your audio like I did here over onto track number one or two, whatever you want to do, and then go ahead and select that track. Now go over down here uh, where you see properties. Now yours may be, it may, it may say media bin, uh, go to properties. If you don't see properties, however, go to a window and then go down here to where you see properties. Make sure that checkbox is there. If it's not, click that box there and it should be. And then once you're under properties, you're gonna see something here that says remix. Click that little side arrow there and then go to enable a remix. It'll take about, I don't know, five, 10, 15 seconds, depending on the speed of, or the power of your computer, Mac, whatever you're using. And then once it is done working, I want you to do another thing. So after it's done there, now what you need to do is go to target duration. Underneath the remix option here, you're going to see something that says target duration. So go back to your video and say, oh, I need this to be uh, four minutes and 32 seconds. So go ahead and select that audio there or that track size there. And then go ahead and type in, I want this to be uh, four. So we'll go ahead and change this first number here by deleting this and going to four. And let's say we want this to be four minutes and 33 seconds and zero, zero. Zero. So that's exactly what we need the the um, the audio to be. And then basically, once you are done with that, go ahead and hit enter, and then it'll work a little bit. And then now look at this. Look at this this wizardry, the magic. Now, if we go to the end of the track, look at this. It will end exactly at four minutes and 33 seconds. And you can even go in here and see where Audition has made the cuts. If I increase this here and then go ahead and zoom in on this guy. So let's go ahead and navigate right through here. Look right here. This is like one of the cuts that Audition made for you. And if we go here and play this back, let's go ahead and decrease the volume here just slightly. Go ahead and watch this. Look at this. Oh, so seamless. So wonderful. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I know this was one of those tips that once I learned a few years ago, I was just mind blown. I was like, this is amazing. Um, because when you're working on videos, like what you saw me work on over here in Final Cut, uh, I had a song here, as you can you can tell at the bottom here, that I, that I was trying to use as a music bed. Uh, and I'm going to go back now. And you can see I've tried to clip this, and I wanted to show this as an example. But now what I all I have to do load this song into Audition, make it exactly, once I finish with the video that I want it to go to, the timestamp, I'll know exactly what I need it to be, go to Audition, export the song, and man, you are good to go. Thank you guys, as always, for watching my videos. This has been a fun one. Uh, if you would, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends and family, and I will see you guys in the next one.